Hi, this is Ray Salemi, the author of the UVM Primer. Welcome to video six. This is for chapter six, where we talk about the big word of polymorphism in programming. Polymorphism really just talks about the fact that if you have two different objects who are both of a common class, and you have a variable of that class, you can store any kind of object in it. And what we're looking at here is a picture of a diagram that demonstrates uh, how classes relate to each other. We have what's called a base class, that's an animal, and then the lion is a type of animal, and so is the chicken. If I have a variable of type animal, I can store a chicken in that variable, or I can store a lion in that variable, and they can both fit in there when you won't get a type error, because both of these classes, both of these objects, are animals that uh, talk about polymorphism. In this first example, we're looking at a case where we have a class called animal. This is a base class here. You notice that it doesn't extend anything. The animal has an age, because all animals have an age. And animals can make a sound, except the generic thing, an animal, doesn't make a sound, because you don't know what kind of animal it is. So we took the make sound method here, and we put in a fatal error that says that generic animals don't make a sound. The lion class extends animal, as we saw in the other diagram, and we overrode the make sound method to say the lion says roar. Notice that up here in our, um, we have our constructor, we had to extend that and override it because there's an argument in the constructor age and whenever you have a class, a base class, with an argument in its constructor, all of those who extend it need to also override the, the constructor method. But all we did is call super.new, dot, super dot which uses the constructor from animal. The chicken also extends animal, and the chicken says aka. So those are, our three, uh, those are our three classes. Now, when we see those classes run, uh, we, we, are, we run them in, the, in this test here. <clears throat> so here's our module, and we have three variables. We have a lion variable, a chicken variable, and an animal variable. We make a new lion, and we call make sound, and we say how old this lion is. And we make a new chicken, chicken's one year old, lion was 15 years old, and we have the chicken make a sound, and we say how old the chicken is. Then we put the lion variable into the animal variable. And you can do that because of polymorphism. And then we have the animal make a sound and say how old it is. Uh, let's see what happens when we do that. Note the quest of copyright up here. And we see that we get what we kind of expect. We see here that the lion says roar when you say lion make sound. And the chicken says baka. But when we call the animal make sound, the, we get this generic animals don't have a sound. So the animal variable, instead of calling the animal, instead of calling the lion's make sound, even though there's a lion object in there, uh, it didn't call the method associated with lion, it called the method associated with animal. And this was because we made a mistake when we created our animal class. If we go all the way back up here, we see that we have this function make sound, and now we'll look at how to fix that mistake. File to a file called virtual, and we see the same animal class in the virtual file, but now there's this word virtual in front of make sound. And what virtual means is that if a variable, if we have an animal variable that's holding a lion, and we call make sound, we don't call the make sound function of the variable, but we call the make sound function of the object within the variable. And so we see here, when we look at this transcript, that now it works. The animal, when we say we put a line in the animal variable, and we can scroll down and see this, we put in a lion into the animal variable, and it works, the lion says roar. And we put the chicken into the animal variable, that works because the chicken says baka. And notice that these are not new lions or chickens. These are just the handles of the ones that we created above. Now this creates a, a question 
um, it's kind of a pain to have to have this uh, animal class that's got this fatal fun fatal error in it. I mean, we didn't find out about our problem until we ran the test and it didn't work. There is a solution for that in uh, in System Verilog and actually in all object-oriented programming, and that's called uh, creating something called a pure virtual uh, class. So we go back up to the top here. <clears throat> we see now we have our animal class, but we declare it to be a virtual class, meaning there's no such thing as a real animal. It's just a concept. It's a virtual thing, an animal. And because it's virtual, we can say pure virtual function void make sound. And what that means is that any class that extends animal needs to override make sound. So we're guaranteed that anyone who uh, who overrides animal with say lion here that they will provide a make sound function and we can assume that that will that that will work so now our virtual uh, our polymorphism will always work because syntactically we've shown that we have to provide a make sound method uh, now there's a thing about virtual function virtual classes here we see we're going to try to make a new animal uh, just out of nowhere and when we try to do that, you see we get a fatal error because we've tried to call the uh, class allocator method new on an abstract class. That's what that virtual class means. So because we put the word virtual before the class animal, uh, we can't actually make something called an animal. We're forced to extend it and then make objects of the type that extend the base virtual class.